Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Boring Land. Oh, Come just on. kidding. Blasphemer. Oh, Hello, my. Boring Review Nation. <laughs> we know all things. All right, welcome back to Boring Reviews. Nick here. Boo there. <laughs> Gosh, I was hoping she forgot. Oh, we record these once a week, <laughs> and she's killing me right now. As always, we are here for another reaction. This time we'll get a song reaction. We are looking at a song called Puvukul. Puvukul? We're going to go with it. It's a song sung in Tamil fe featured in the 1998 film Jeans, which is famous for its sequel, Shorts. <laughs> that was bad. Capris. No, that's really, really bad. I thought you were going to say Norma Jean. <laughs> no. Just no. Absolutely not. And <laughs> this is a song request from Varun. He's provided us with the subtitles. Thank you so much for that hookup right there by composer A.R. Rahman and lyricist Viramuthu. And this is a song from the movie that features Prashanth and also Aishwarya Ray, who became Aishwarya Ray Bacham. Very beautiful woman. She was a previous Miss World winner, for crying oh, out loud. That's impressive. Now, I was shocked to find out she was in this song, because I thought she was, like, in her 30s or something like that. This is 1998. She's almost 50. It's crazy. Wow. So, anyways, not to me to give away her, you know, secret there. Seriously, she's considered don't talk about by, women's age. She's considered by many as the eighth wonder of the world. Oh, wow. I thought that was me. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> it's definitely in my own mind i can't wait to see her let's watch and i'm curious if in the song if they're gonna be wearing jeans are they gonna be wearing jeans we will find out please don't forget if you're enjoying these reactions as always please let us know by liking by subscribing and hitting that bell notification because more than likely we're going to bring you another video that you're going to want to check out we appreciate that here we go Great Wall of China, right? I was thinking the same thing. Beautiful shot with the lights here. Obviously never been there before. And is this the girl? It might be, but I, I don't recognize her with that outfit. It would make sense, right? I just know she's famous for her eyes. Honestly, they've always been contacts. Oh, I think that's her. That's her? Okay. Yeah. You know, any chance that's really her hair? I have no idea, honestly. Could be. <laughs> She's so young here, it's crazy. Wonder, wonder. I like that dress though. Yeah, so they're going to the different wonders of the world. That's so crazy that she's considered the eighth wonder of the world and she's in this song. Or she just considered it in this movie. She might be. Now you think they really, I mean, it looks like they're on location, right? You think they really went to all these places? That'd be awesome. I don't know. I mean, they may have. It'd be really hard to get, like, people not around. Yeah, that's definitely hard. You see the eyes are yes. so bright? Wow, 
nice dress. Yeah, she has like your thighs. And they would just like get all the looks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's interesting how some of these words translate into English. I'm sure they sound a little more natural in the native language. Yeah. Cleopatra action. Now, hopefully, she's the kind of girl that likes different costume changes and whatnot. Because she has a whole bunch of them in this one. I would say that wasn't her hair on the first one because it's short in all these other ones. So, you do think that was her very. I mean, it kind of looked like her. I'm wondering. I'm thinking so. I'm thinking it's different her outfits, dressed up yeah. in all the outfits. Yeah, that yeah. Would make sense. Yeah, there's no way that was her hair then. No, no. Oh, I have to block in Yeah. Now that last shot looked like it was in front of a, a screen, but the other ones they might actually be there. I'm wondering if all of them are in front of the screen. So they've done a good job of like changing her hair and all of them. Nails are crowned with sensation. Wow, that's a good line. Then you have people walking in the background there. And a lot of them are looking like, what is going on over there? See, I'm I'm so like focused on were they or weren't they on location? Like, I just can't get over it. Now, i got to remind myself, 1998, this is before the evolution of just everyone and their brother. You, now, obviously, CGI. the blue screens have been around for a long time. But where everyone, yeah, the CGI, and it looks like they're there. I'm willing to bet that at least most of those locations, they were actually there. But you can kind of see how, if they weren't, how they were still on grass, like this part in front of the Coliseum, and then they had the shot behind them, behind the grass. It would be very, very clever but it seemed like they were there except for maybe one or two shots i thought obviously they weren't yeah and in some of the shots it seemed like it was almost like a slightly faded where other ones were more crisper yeah crisp more crisper crisper no more crispier <laughs> but i'm wondering if the slightly faded scenes were maybe a little bit more blue screen or if it had anything to do with it i don't know because once you brought it up like i was thinking that and then i was even more curious so yeah I have to admit, I paid attention to her outfits and, and a the lot backgrounds of them, a lot more than the lyrics. 
I yeah, I was following all the lyrics. I'm not gonna say these are the the best lyrics that I've read. They they were kind of going fast at first, but then it was repeating it, so we were able to stay there for a while. Again, the translation into English might be what I'm missing, because even though they were all unique ways of describing love that I have not seen before or heard before, especially about talking about the fingers and how the nails of the crown. I thought that was really really nice. Talked about Paul and talked about you're my wonder, you're my wonder, which I thought was really nice. And I wonder if that's what Pavuku translates into because they're at the wonders of the, the world. The thing I really liked about it, besides their cool, simple dancing, and they weren't completely in sync, but it was very like playable and very nice dancing there. The one thing I really noticed that I thought was cool and unique was that they went to all these different wonders of the world. I don't think I've seen too many music videos like that or songs like that. And so I wonder what the context is in the movie. Is he just like some rich guy and he's taking her different places? Or is it just because he's talking about how wondrous she is? And so it's not really context in the movie. It's, it's just context dream. in the song. Yeah, I'm curious. Or a dream. Yeah. If like he didn't really take her to those places in the movie, but like wishing he could or yeah, like kind of describing that she's just as amazing. Yeah, I didn't really pay attention if he compared her wonder to e a different comparison to each different location. I didn't pay attention either. I'm curious about that. But I mean, this is a song from... Man, 23 years ago, 24 years ago. So it's been around for a while. I don't want to say, I don't think I've heard it before, mm -hmm. but I still enjoyed the video a lot more than the song itself. Yeah. The whole production of everything. But uh, those are our thoughts on this. Let us know what your thoughts are. Let us know. I'm sure since this has been around for a while, lots of memories, lots of this or that that you want to share with us. Don't forget to do that below in the comment section. Like and subscribe. And until next time. Goodbye. No more boo.